In the swamps and cities of southern Louisiana, four post-apocalyptic survivors blaze a trail to find themselves, their adversaries, and the solution to stopping the second coming of the apocalypse. Welcome to Rad Rolls, a Fallout tabletop RPG. I, yeah, I, so I'm outside the building near the door, I suppose, and I guess that was put Shirley, me. just kind of hanging if out. She, yeah, if she's still by the Christmas tree, then I would be right there, yeah. All right, so you whistle, and about, like, 15, like, like panicked like, nutcracker raiders just kind of, like, come over to you. Uh, some of them look more grizzled than others. Um, it's clear that a lot of the residents of uh, Rising Sun Settlement have been made into looking like these nutcracker raiders that you have standing before you. But you have everyone's attention um, after your whistle and you wearing uh, the guy in the big red's hat. So I'm going to, um, is there like a soapbox or a, a like a, a package or something I can stand on to get a little bit of height? Yeah, there's a there's a box of uh, just like fake snow that you can just like, you know, it's asbestos. So it's all oh, just I'll, like, I'll grab yeah. the box of soapy, like the soap box of fake snow and drag it over and stand on it. So I've got a little bit of height and I will project my voice as much as I can. I'm the teacher voice and I'm going to say, <laughs> all right, guys, change of plan. We're doing a hot exit. You guys have five minutes to gather your shit. And we're getting on the train, and we're getting out of here, all of us. Uh, the crew kind of looks at you, and they're like, what do we do about the fire? Leave the fire. Don't go into the fire. Don't worry about the fire. Just leave the fire, grab your shit, and get on the train. Uh, does anybody know if the train is operating right now? Uh, no, we we uh, we we kind of broke the wheels on it. Um, okay. They're kind of bent, and uh, I mean, we can't go. We can only go forwards in it because now there's a big like platform thing that's that's right behind it. But we also have the trolley there. We, we haven't driven that yet. We just like carried it along in the in the train that we had. Okay, so it does anybody in this group know? Anything about working a trolley or a rail car, a train, a steam engine, a nuclear powered train engine, anything along those lines? Uh, there's like an 18 year old kid that kind of raises his hand enthusiastically. Cool. <laughs> you, you're, uh, everybody else is listening to this guy. This guy is going to tell you what to do to get this thing functional. What's your name? Arthur? My name's Arthur. Okay, Arthur. I like that energy. Let's go with that. Everybody, look. Train is ready to move out. We're doing a hot exit. Five minutes. Don't worry about the fire. Just make sure everybody get a buddy. Hold on to your buddy. Buddy system. Hold hands if you need to. Everybody's going to be on the train. We're taking off in five minutes. <coughs> At, uh, so everybody kind of starts scattering, and Arthur is, uh, is kind of, kind of like Rick, yelling out. Is Rick coming out of the building to follow the hot? Oh, yeah, exit? Rick is. Rick is in this crowd. Yes. Would he Clark? be easy to single Clark? out? Clark. He's wearing an eye patch. Nobody else is wearing right. an eye patch. Like, is he with? Like, is he like in the throng of people? He's in the throng of people. Okay. All right. All right. Uh -huh. I, I, I'm going to do like the eyeball thing between what's going on with uh, Clark and what's like the, the fact that he's got sensors locked on Rick. I'm going to say, Rick, over here. You know, the you know, the Kill Bill music. That's what's going on. And <laughs> the in siren. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Rick, 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 Rick. You see me? You see the hat? I'm in charge now. You acknowledge my authority? It's a yes or no question. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 you're good. Yeah, uh, whoever wears the hat's the king. Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> this is what your king is currently telling you. The king of Christmas is telling you 
that this man right here is now your personal God and Savior. You have to do whatever he tells you for the next 24 hours. Fuck. You're allowed to swear what you want, but you've got to do what he tells you or else everybody else here is going to hunt you down and kill you. He kind of looks we'll- over. He looks over at his at uh, the, the, uh, the girl that was yelling at him and the girl that was yelling at him kind of like gives him a little eye like and uh, Rick kind of looks back at 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 you, Hazel and, and Clark and is like, OK, whatever. OK, Cody. Merry Christmas. You can make him do whatever you want for 24 hours. So I recommend if you're going to kill him, do it after that. He has a chance to at least make up to you for being such a punk. All right. Well, Rick, you're. uh... Well, let me put it like this. If I hear you. If I hear you talk to me directly, I'm just going to cut out your tongue. Okay? Any anything? I don't want any of this bullshit rickness. Okay? Just uh, you know, I want you to go back to the gift shop. I want you to grab any useful shit. And you know what? Actually, I'm going to come I'm going to come with you because I just don't fucking trust your ass. We're going to go to the gift shop. We're going to grab anything useful. And then we're going to board the train. You're going to be my buddy. Looks at you and kind of like grumbles a little bit, doesn't say anything, gives you like a thumbs up. Very good. All right. So uh, back to uh, Lonnie and Pep. Uh, You now have um, the guy in the big red suit known as Santa Claus at gunpoint. Um, he is kind of like motionless. Uh, he's, he's told you that there are many men outside um, and he has realized that these men are not coming. Um, and he looks at you, he's like, all right, listen, let's make a deal. Okay. I, I failed to see where you're in any position to negotiate, but I'm listening. I'll tell you what, I'll give you something for free, okay? You can have all your stuff back. You can have all your stuff back. Okay, that's kind of a given. All right. I have information. Okay, you've got information. Uh, Last I checked, information information doesn't feed people, but okay, go on. I think you want to know this information, but you got to keep me alive. You got to promise me that you're going to keep keep you alive. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't gotcha. do not kill me, please, God. Do not kill me. Oh, okay, got it. We got a deal. Let's I mean, shake I, on it. I'm, I'm listening. No, I'm. Can you get your friend to shake on it? Mm, no, my friend's pretty pissed off. I, I don't think you want his hands anywhere near you. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a deal maker. I only, sh- I only shake hands here. Okay, well, um. You know, I, I don't I don't give a shit. That doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. It's not on paper. It's just, you know, I could say that we shook hands, you know, on our system. Since we're trusting everything and everybody, it must be our little secret, but I'm not giving you my hand. So uh, uh he kind of looks at you and is like, fuck okay, okay. Have you guys ever heard of anything called a clone? Um Yeah, we've yes. heard about it. Yeah. Yes. So you know how that works, right? You got one person and then it makes a copy of another person, right? Yeah. I'm that's I'm an assembly line. Pretty get familiar. It. Yeah. Got it. Okay. So that's... just a few days ago, uh huh. We had a bunch of people from the Brotherhood of Steel here. Okay. In that crew, I was told that there were clones predominantly running that crew. Given this information by the leader of the Brotherhood of Steel. Now, 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 here's the, here's the crazy part. And now, listen, you're, you're saying crew, the, the Brotherhood of Steel is being run by clones or? 
the crew that came and visited me, they radioed. Uh, I got a radio call ahead uh, from uh, his name is Paladin Buffon. I got a radio call, told me they were coming. Uh, this this crew, uh, I, I'm listen. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not trying to fuck with you. All right. I'm not. I, I really. I you right. got the gun pulled on me. I'm all not right. going to fuck with you. Yeah. All right. It was being run by clones of of what looked like you and this other guy, two other people. Uh, one of the guys uh, was the one that I already let through. Uh, and then they had the other lady uh, in there too. This other blonde headed, weird superhero guy. Okay. So, so you, you've met these people before. Yes. And what is it? Why, why is it the Paladin Buffon gave you this information? Uh, I work with Paladin Buffon directly for all operations outside of O'Nolans. What is your rank? I don't have a rank. Excuse me. I I don't I don't have a what I'm. You, I mean, my you rank work is for Paladin Buffont of the Brotherhood yeah. of Steel. You work for Paladin yeah, he's a friend Buffont. Of mine. Yeah, but you're not Brotherhood of Steel. No. Okay, interesting. And and Paladin Buffont let you know that there are clones of us coming to this camp. <laughs> I mean, I didn't realize that they were clones of you all until I saw you. Okay, so... But he told me that there was a group that was being led by clones. Yeah. That was coming okay. to the area. And, and he told me. Oh, all right. After that day, if I saw anybody that looked like you all, that I should radio him. So, you, following Paladin Buffon's orders... Have you radioed, radioed him, him when you all came? I, I radioed him. I told him that you all were here and that he needed to come get you. That's why I, I didn't kill you. I, I, I captured you. I let the guy walk around the settlement, uh, but I'm pretty sure that they are on their way. Pep, we got to go. Yeah, we should probably. Uh, I don't think I can trust left the Brotherhood of our stuff. anymore. Or at least not the ones you know. Uh, Arturo, could I trust you to pick up anything that appears to be useful? We're going to be extricating here very soon and very quickly. I mean, they took a lot of my my stock, so I can just. Uh, I'll pick up what I can. I'll get Nermal and Newton to kind of like fetch some stuff for me. Uh, can I use this guy's bag? It looks pretty big. Absolutely. Okay, great. I if I can, you know, if I can get the cats. I mean, I I don't want the cats in the bag. I really want the cats out of the bag. But I, God, yeah, I want to I want to make sure that they're wow that one before. Oh, yeah, that's a really good Arturo joke. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um. Uh, <laughs> So these these cats start like collecting pieces and parts, um, kind of reassembling things uh, to the uh, into the bag here. Uh, Pep's gonna walk up to Lonnie and very quietly ask Lonnie, "Can I borrow your um, your trumpet for a moment?" Think about that. It's like. Um... Yeah, uh, I think I'll um, I'll go help our Arturo out for a second. You you okay here? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, just uh, suddenly become a fan of music. Mm, really want to take a look at that yeah. trumpet. I'll uh, I'll uh, hand uh, Pep the trumpet, and as I walk away, I'll just start uh, humming "Hot Cross Buns." <laughs> uh, uh, uh.
Uh, uh, uh. Uh, Pep is uh, intending to gas foot Santa he <coughs> to blow off his foot. His right foot, okay, yeah. specifically. I'm not going to have you roll for that because you have complete... You, you kind of have control of, of the situation. situation. Um, so you, uh, you fire off the satch gun at Santa's foot, um, absolutely disintegrating it, almost like a giant, like imagine like a giant lightsaber, but it's it's like not like a cut. It's just like a hole that you just put into Santa, um, and his a piece of his foot kind of like flies off, um, and he now like crumples to the floor, screaming in pain. Good note, Pep. You're a natural. <laughs> And Pep's going to step on Santa's chest and level the trumpet at Santa's face and say, never touch another man's power armor. And then he's going to give him a little kick and he's going to walk away. Yeah, he, you just like knock him out. Like you just like, you, it's like an execution, but he's not dead. But <laughs> non lethal. It's like a good, it's like a good doom guy, like, like yeah. power kill. The, the or paragon. Like, Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah 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 um so santa is, is now is incapacitated um so you all um are now you all have uh kind of like normal and newton are helping out uh arturo get all the stuff together uh hazel has managed to get everyone in, in rising sun settlement kind of like working on getting the trolley started uh clark is going over to the gift shop so we can do that scene uh Lonnie and Pep, what are you going to get to next? I'm not sure if we... I, I certainly <laughs> didn't know that Hazel was um, rounding up the troops to get out of here. I sort of figured that she might actually be trying to put the fire out. I don't know why I thought that. <laughs> you so, fool! Yeah. <laughs> Cur- yeah. I think we just maybe. walk outside and it's like, yeah, everything's so, still on fire. <laughs> Like, no, but I'm wow. actively <laughs> still. Don't grab those crates. Why those is it burning? Crates. We're gonna need those. Leave those. That's trash. Don't even don't don't take the extra costumes. We're not doing that. We're gonna need those water barrels. Come on, everybody, get it on the trolley right now. Yeah. So I, uh, I mean, Lonnie's got it in his bonnet when he walks out. Like, I've got to get Hazel to get these people onto the train. <laughs> <laughs> not knowing that she's like five minutes ahead of me on this task so <laughs> so that's that's my panic so um it's basically a continuation of what hazel's already doing uh but with the added benefit that we have arturo who has proven to be a bit of a um um a dapper in, hand yeah a uh a inventive uh engineer that might be able to assist us with any train related issues so uh, once start stuff starts being gathered, uh, one of the uh, Nutcracker Raiders kind of approaches Hazel and says, uh, or no, it, it, this would be Arthur at this point approaches Hazel and says, "Hey, uh, so we can, we got a problem. Okay. Um, one of the uh, we got too much stuff and too many people. We can't fit everything into the trolley. Uh, I don't know how we're going to get everything out of here because I mean." Right okay. now, the, the other train is broke, the Santa train with the robotic Santa, and then we've got this, like, platform on wheels, I don't, and I don't know how we can, like, if we could connect that, that would be something, but I don't know how we can get everything on the train. Okay, so is there, are there any switch tracks so that we can get it, so we can attach that platform? We know the platform, it, it, it's self-powered, and it's it, it's in good shape. Can we switch track the platform around behind the trolley and hitch it to the trolley? And then we can put su- the supplies on the platform and the people in the trolley. I mean, that makes sense if we could get the, the, the other train out of the way, but there's no way to get it out of the way because it's all just a single track unless we, we, like, we would need to remove it somehow. Um, okay, well, <laughs> if... I don't know the exact uh, weight of the train. Is there a chance if we have some uh, levers and some ropes and everybody pulling and pushing at the same time, can we tip it off the track? I mean, I mean, yeah, we had the guy that was over there that was using a, 
he had some like hydraulic legs he might be able to lift something with and we we put a we gave the you know hydraulic arms to that the the musician guy that we had working at Claude's Clog and Kickers he may be able to push it his name's his his name's Nick I'm sure he'll help um if if you can uh okay so I'll find those guys send them over to the train uh if you can grab find any ropes um pulleys long sticks um pry bars, anything, Get everybody over to the train that doesn't work. We're going to try and tilt it and push it uh, sideways off the track to clear it from the tracks. Okay? And All I'll right. find the guys with the hydraulics. Uh, cool. So Snick and somebody with hydraulic leg. I have... Snick! Snick! Oh, God, I gotta do that voice again. <laughs> Let me... Let me get it deep, if if deep Pep down. hears Hazel calling for Snicked, he's going to immediately go over to Hazel. <coughs> okay. Um, oh, hey, guys. Uh, yeah. So my, my previous gig got burned down recently by a, a, a crazy robot trying to free something. But uh, hey, now I'm here. Uh, I heard that you wanted me to wear my new fancy strength shirt to uh, do some pushing or something. I haven't mm-hmm. worn it quite yet, but I think it'd be pretty fun to wear. What do you think, guys? You're I, think you, I think you're going to give it to me. It's a grip. <laughs> I'm going to give it to you. You're, you're going to give it. You're going to give it to me. It belongs to me. Snicked. I stole it fair and square from the brother to steal. Oh, but no. I want it. Did but I you- want it in a contest. What contest? I was trying to show off my clogging skills at Claude's clogging kickers. And I had to go up against Jericho, the craziest nutcracker clown and man that you could ever clog on the street. And I had to out clog him for hours and hours. It was an, it was an intense process. I was trying to do it the whole time. I have aches on my feet. I have a number of different bunions going. Sick, sick, sick. Sick, Just give me, just give me the goddamn arms. So (laughs) just give me the arms. I know you won them. I know it's it's a big grand prize for you, but they were not Santas to give away. So can you please return them to their rightful owner? And I promise you, I will find you something even better as a consolidation prize. I want flame boots. I think I will be able to do that for you. I will find you flame boots. I you want boots that Jericho shoot flames the outside. Okay, you don't just want boots that have flames painted on them. You want boots that oh. actually catch fire. Oh yeah, yeah. I okay. can build that. That would for be you. really like, great. Tell me for where the legs are, Nick. Skills. Nick. Just tell me who has the legs. Where is he? Who has the legs? Yeah, who has the hydraulic legs from the power armor? Oh, we gave him to Reckless Rick. Uh, okay, well that makes it easy. Um, we know where Reckless Rick is. Uh, I, I'll go, I'll go wrestle up, uh, Reckless Rick and Clark really quick. Um, can somebody make sure you get the pieces of the power armor frame and the pieces of armor? Um, like in the workshop. I told the guys five minutes. Uh, so as soon as we get everybody over to the train, we're going to try and tip the train off and then we got to get out. I have the suspicion that, uh, this place is going to go up like a Roman candle. Uh, yeah, because yeah, the evil brotherhood of steel's on their way. Yeah, if it doesn't, then the brotherhood of steel's going to intro. Oh, that's that. great! They could totally help us with this. Um, also, um, for mm, sure, leave. He could probably push over that train by himself. Maybe I don't know how strong he is. Uh, sure, leave. We, we'll definitely ask him to help us. What do you? Okay, all right. Sorry, uh, Lonnie. We'll we'll talk about this later. Here, hold on. I I'm going to take off the Santa hat and put it on Lonnie's head, and now say. There. Now you're officially the Nightmare King. Have fun. I don't like this collection of uh, (laughs) titles all of a sudden. This is no way to run a government. I know. This is, you know, strange ladies putting hats on heads is no... um, All right. uh, Hazel, I'm not sure the Brotherhood is our friend right now. Uh, um, we can discuss it well, later, but we need to treat it like they are not. Okay, I told everybody we're doing a hot exit. As soon as we get that uh, train chassis out of the way, we're going to link the the platform and the um, uh, the trolley car together, and we're going to get everybody on board to take off. All right, put Arturo on it. Who are we missing? Where Where the fuck's Clark? I, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get Clark and Rick. 
You're going to get Clark. All right. I'll yeah, my legs. So, so keep telling people to keep yeah. doing what they're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm on it. Oh, and, and the guy in charge of the railway system is uh, Arthur. Arturo? Ar I, I, Arthur Arturo. Arthur. Ar Arturo oh, was, was with that, right. that guy. That guy over there. Why well, isn't signal right in the trolley? Yeah. I'm here helping out. I'm doing some stuff for the settlement. I mean, the, the, the Raiders. I'm here. Yeah. You, yeah. Uh, did you drop the trolley oh, here or oh. did Signal drop the and, trolley here? And Pep, get, get Signal. He's probably still on shift. Uh, it was, it was Santa, I don't even like Santa fudge. drove the trolley. I'll. Okay. <laughs> Arthur. Get Signal. Arturo, I'll get Clark. Arturo, Arthur. Y'all get this up and running. I'll get Signal. You all get Clark. All right. <laughs> and Hazel's, Hazel just booked I'll say that about Tom yeah. Roland. Like, let's let the kids' times roll here. Uh, let's uh, let's pan off to uh, to just the thing gift shop uh, here. Uh, Clark and Reckless Rick uh, uh, have entered just the thing gift shop. Um, it's, uh, it's illuminated by the fire from the outside through the windows. Um, You've been in here before, and have, and uh, well, you haven't been in here before. But essentially, there was these uh, decorative ornaments in the front with a number of different like knickknacks and junk behind everything, <coughs> along with the cast register and uh, some other uh, various items. Uh, Clark, what do you what do you do in here with Reckless Rick? Well, I guess we'll check the cast register first. Let's open up. Open up that. Yeah, so uh, you go over and open up the cast register, and Rick kind of like eyes you a little bit, um, and you uh, cha ching open it, and uh, inside you find uh, 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 like 180 caps, not like 180, but 180 caps, and actually like a actual 180 caps. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. We're, that's something. Add that real quick. Yeah, that's my little my little stash here. Uh, okay, is there like so they already looked through like some of the, like the junk and whatever, and there really wasn't too much. Is there like the back room or whatever that they were arguing in? Is there anything like a value there? Looking for um, really like any anything that would be like make accommodations nicer. Uh, Clark is looking for for some kind of comfort items. You know, maybe there's some some holiday like blankets and things like that. A space heater, perhaps. Um. So yeah, two perception plus survival for difficulty zero. Let's just see if you can hit that roll. Um. Then and, and we'll see what what you can find here. See if this little do that works, huh? Ooh uh, yeah, I don't know what my stats are, but that's probably too high. Yeah. So no successes there. Um yeah, so what you managed to find in the back room is actually a giant uh net. Uh connected to the net is a um a sign that says in case of uh gator emergency. Um, the way that this net has been kind of hung up, um, it looks kind of like almost like a hammock, like somebody had been using this as like a break space to kind of like sleep. But there's a whole bunch of extra net attached. It's like a giant net um, for I'm not sure what kind of gator would would uh, would fit in this net, but it is a giant old net. Um, there's a lot of like that's the only thing of interest. There's like some mops and some different stuff. Um, Rick goes over and is, is uh, looking at his um, hydraulic uh, lower uh, power armor um, and is kind of eyeing this and kind of like looks at you and, and uh, kind of points over to it and he's like, huh, that looks oddly familiar, but to be honest, I can't really place where I recognize that from. Huh. Interesting. Um, uh, well, you know, 
I'm kind of disappointed that there wasn't anything a little more homey around here. The caps were nice, though. Ah, uh, well. Hey, am I am I allowed to speak? Depends on what you have to say. You, you I use this. Uh, I use this net as like, as like where I sleep. This is like a bed, but I could probably make more beds out of it if you ever wanted, like hammocks or some shit. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's better than nothing. Let's grab that. Uh, can we actually like carry these leg things? I mean, like, y- you can wear them or I can wear them. It, it you gotta wear them. Uh, I can't. I won't be able to pick them up. All right, whatever. I'll wear them. You carry the hammock, net, whatever. Let's get moving. So, uh, am I? Am I still? Can I still like talk? Is that or is this? Or is it t- is my time over? Your time is over. Fuck. I guess we'll uh, leave. Kind of, okay. Is there, uh, so if, join, if there's nothing, if the there's group? nothing else, anything too much more interesting than we got caps, we got stuff. <laughs> Pretty much it. Um. So you all rejoined the group. Uh, I think uh, Hazel was looking for you all. So Hazel's the first one to uh. To spy you all, uh, Clark wearing the uh, hydraulic uh, oh. pants of, oh. of wonder. Oh, you've got the oh, those are the hydraulic. Oh, yeah. Okay, we need we need manpower out there, uh, Clark. You've already got the hydraulic legs. We need uh, to push uh, push a train over. No big. It's kind of like cow tipping, just on a much larger scale. Why? Uh, because it doesn't work, we need to move it out of the way so that we can attach the platform to the uh, trolley car, and then we're going to get everybody on here, and we're going to get out of here before the Brotherhood of Steel comes over and fucks up our shit or something. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of fuzzy on the details, but we should go. Oh, Lonnie's the uh, Christmas king now, by the way. <laughs> I thought we... Okay, I thought we were going to do like a whole revolution thing, but oh, the, the revolution has come. We are the the, the proletariat has um, overthrown the uh, uh, the despot. We are getting the hell out of here now. So now, Viva revolution. Let's go. You've commissioned everybody to hard physical labor of tipping a train. Uh, it's more of a um, survival metric at this point. A survival mechanic. Um, if we don't tip the train, we don't have enough room to get everyone and all the supplies we need out, including uh, caps, food, whatever else we have. And if we don't get everybody out of here, uh, like hot exit very soon, there might not be anybody left um, to escape. So we need to go. Dude, even, even, uh, uh uh, even uh, <coughs> what's his name? Even Shoreleaf's helping. We should go. I'll yell over. You even asked Shoreleaf to Clark, help. Clark, when they bring the vertebrates, would you rather be standing here or on something that moves? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I'd rather be in the hammock. Well, you can hang the hammock from the roof of the trolley. And so can I can I work on that? And I don't know, Pep. Do you want these like leg things? They kind of look like something you would want. Yes. Can I have my legs back? Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Why are they yours? They're from the power armor. They're the, they're the frame. They're from the power. Yeah. Am I the only person here that is hasn't this, wore power armor? Is this supposed to like come apart? Power armor? No, it's not. Oh, but it's probably not working in peak capacity. Uh, it's what we got right now, and I'll 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 fix it and I'll make it better once we get back home. Also, are we sure that train doesn't work? Should I take a look at that train? See if I can get it working. I uh, trust a kid named Arthur, and yeah, he's only like two years younger than me, but he's a kid. Well, sure, go help, please. By by all means, let's let's pull together and do this. Give me the legs first, please. Oh yeah, yeah, take them. I have no, I, this whole 
tipping a train thing. Maybe old Clark, new Clark. We got a hammock, Rick and I. We're gonna get a hammock together. We're gonna figure something out for shore leave. Wait, now you're hanging now 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 you're hanging loose and vibing with Rick. The thin line between love and hate, I guess. I if you gotta keep a close eye on him because if he tries to make a break for it, we're gonna break his legs. Am I am he I knows you make that plural? He knows the deal. I'm gonna regret this. Okay, let's go. We need we need to go. My anxiety's like flaring up. We need to go. All right. Pep's popping on his legs and he's going to go check out the train to make sure it actually is broken down and can't be used. It needs to be tipped. Yeah. Perception plus repair for difficulty two for me, Pep. Uh -huh. Does Arturo have the tools that he he has available? Does he have them with him? Like if he's got like a uh, like an arc welder and stuff like that. Arturo has the tools. Okay, so I'm going to see if I can find Arturo and ask him to go over and help them try and see if they can get the train moving. Like, they might need the tools to, you know, maybe weld up a uh, uh, a boiler or something. Is that intelligence and repair? Perception plus repair. Perception and repair. So see, what's six. Right. see what's wrong. And four... Is oh, so ten. Ten. So one success, it's a tag skill, so two success. <laughs> okay. Um, so you uh, are kind of like inspecting this train. It seems like where there was uh, an engine, um, it's been rerouted so that all of the power goes to power um, the animatronic Santa, uh, the various lights, and also some other stuff in the village itself. Like it hmm. seems like it's almost been used as a way to siphon power for the rest of the uh, of the stuff. Um, the which is kind of odd because the wheels on it are like dented up. It's almost like that they ran into a lot of hard bumps on the on the road, so the wheels are kind of like messed up on a train. Uh, that, that is kind of like what you can see there. So um, it does not appear as though it, it, we can get this up and running in the short amount of time we have. You could do one of you could either get the engine running or fix the wheels. I I will say that you could do one of those two. Mm, if, if we fix the wheels, we'll be able to roll it out of the way rather than having to tip it or roll it. If you fix the wheels, you'd be able to roll it out of the way. Um, if you fix the engine, you'd be able to use the train engine in the trolley. But you'd have to push it out of the way. Hmm. Uh, Pep would try to fix the engine. You want to okay. worry about the wheels? He'd try to fix the engine. Yeah. Do intelligence plus repair for a difficulty two for me. <coughs> Definitely no. Uh, intelligence of seven, repair of four. So, uh, no. Um, so you managed to disconnect all of the wires from this engine that is powering the various things. So now you just have an engine. It doesn't work necessarily. You don't know how to connect it up to anything, but you now have an engine block um, that, that you have taken out and made the train like slightly less heavy. Um, but so you just like you have you now have an engine. Congratulations. You, you made have a working engine. It's like, hey, guys, I made the train slightly lighter. It'll be easier to tip over now. You're welcome. Let's um, do this. Let me cool. let me take a look at that engine here. Uh oh. Uh, All right. Okay, Mister Weekend Mechanic here. Go ahead and take a look. See what you can do. Intelligence plus repair difficulty two is that roll. All right. I'm spending a action point to roll three d twenty. Uh, intelligence repair. I'm looking for a tens or threes. One, two. That's two successes. Yeah, two successes. So you uh, go to this engine that Pep has and you kind of like tinker with it a little bit. Um, and then it's like nice. It's like all of a sudden the like engine oil like kicks over and like you start like almost like mechanically moving it around. And now it is a working engine. Uh, this engine can run off of most forms of power, uh, biofuel, uh, natural gas, uh, uh, 
gasoline, uh, as well as nuclear energy. It is it is a uh, it is a engine that doesn't just run off of let's touch a dangerous fusion core to it. Yeah. Um, that has a lot more power than the trolley engine. Uh, oh, while I'm Prep is going to look at that engine. What? He's going to look at Lonnie. He's going to look at that engine. He's going to look at Lonnie. He's going to walk away without saying anything. When he's about 40 or 50 feet away, you're going to hear, Fuck! As I'm working on it, it's like, this is just like the ones we used down at the levee. I've worked on these before. I'm just going to walk out. Great. This is great. This is great. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let's, uh, ride that train, right? This is, this is just wonderful. Uh, what a, what a great day. Pep, save your energy. You're going to have to repair your power armor. That's true. And I did get to gas foot a guy today. That's uh, sure. By the way, DM, I'm going to ask something, and I'm 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 just gonna I'm 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 trying a little hustle here. Out of all of the random stuff around here, did I see anything that might be a discarded power armor helmet? Like in that room with all of this stuff that's been chucked and stashed. Uh, that's not a, a detail bucket. to a scene. That, that's There's too, that's a mop too bucket small. In the, uh, in the gift just shop. To, just because Arturo is around doesn't mean we can start finagling for power armor helmets. <laughs> all right, fine. Yeah, I thought the, that the, they, this might is, have, they might have used. This is like the like Excalibur. This is like this is like you know when you catch Mewtwo at the end of Pokemon. Like this is like. <laughs> Needs the power, power armor helmet is like the thing. Um, this is the after credits have. scene. Like. So, so I stop and I think about it. I'm, I'm thinking to myself, okay, did I see a power armor helmet? Did I see Clark's sword? Is there anything else important? I I don't remember seeing any of that stuff, or I would have grabbed it. Okay, never mind. All right. So, uh, who is going to go put Pep? You were in full power armor, so I'm assuming that you're going to try to push the train. Yes, with Chorley's help. I'm help. I'm recruiting Chorley to help with this uh, monumental task. Oh, you want to record Chorley to help? Yeah, to if, ask if, if he's yes. I'd like to ask Chorley. Uh, hey, Pam. Hey, how are you doing, man? Hey, Chorley. Great. Um, uh, we need you to uh, push over a train with me. Uh, can you do that? It sounds like a lot of work. Nah, it would be hard work for you. You're a robot. You got it's your big old. Big old robot yard. Do you just assume my identity based on my visuals? Like, maybe today I feel like a, a gecko. Like, come on, man. Well, a gecko would help me push over a train. Is he, How many does geckos he do you know? a gecko on his screen when he says that? Yeah. It's the gecko he, gecko. he likes to put up a... Yeah. He's like the little golden gecko, you know? Standing up there. Um, the... Uh, He's, he's kind of looking at you, Pap, and he's like, I really don't want to do anything. I'm just here to stand around. Unless you give me a good reason, I'm not going to do anything. Oh, th well, the good reason would be the brother to steal are going to fly over here with vertebrates and probably strafe this whole place. And uh, you don't want to be full of bullet holes, do you? You're intimidating him, so strength plus speech for difficulty two. <laughs> Uh, so wait, wait, was strength plus speech? I don't think there are yes. 17 or an 18, though, my God. Uh, but I do <laughs> have, I forgot that I actually did take the um, smooth talker. Uh, I may re-roll one of those. Yeah, let's see what we do. Oh, there you go. What's your speech skill? Is it? Is it I'm speech it's... is three. Yep. There you go. Got it. I'm pretty sure. Right. Is is speech tagged for you, too? No, no, I don't think oh. it's tagged. Oh, well, dang. Um, yeah. Short leave kind of looks at you and is like. I mean, that's a good point, but they're not going to shoot me because I'm. I'm just going to leave. 
Well, where are you going to go? go? Uh, Do you want to go with us? I mean, I guess, but if I'm going to get shot, I don't really want to go now. Like, but you're not going to get shot if you come with us. To come with us, we need you to push over the train. But you just told me that the Brotherhood of Steel is going to come here and 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 do the stuff. I know. That's why we got to go. All of us together, All right. like as pals, friends. Um, um, so Hazel's going to um, pop in here and go. She she was listening to the <laughs> She's going to go. Okay, shore leave. If you come with us, if you help us move the train so that we can get out of here, and you come with us. I know that I know that you're just into vibe and you just want to chill and relax. Nothing is more chill and relaxed than sitting around a campfire listening to stories, right? I will tell you a different story every night that you're with us. Yeah, do a speech plus charisma for difficulty one. Speaking to the core of of what he is, you're not threatening him with the Brotherhood of Steel like Pep did. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, so, uh, 20. Shortly kind of looks at uh, looks at you, Hazel, and it's like, hey, guys, uh, I mean, listen, guys, it's um, I'm sorry. Uh, I got to get out of here. Um, I think the fire with everything, it's just really like stressing me out. I'm just like, really like this. This vibe is not what I was like. Thinking about so, all right. Man, you're lost. If you totally. need me, I'm gonna go to Old Nolan's next. I haven't been there yet, heard of all about it. I'm gonna go there. Oh, look me up if you ever are in town. I don't know if you guys ever go there. Sure, sure. But other than that, well, I'll see you later. You know, it was, it was really great meeting you, Shore Leave. I'm sorry that you're gonna miss out on the uh, I'm sorry you're gonna miss out on the hammock, hammock thing I got planned. I'm gonna put some hammocks on the roof of the uh, trolley and just kind of look up out at the stars every night. Sorry, you're gonna miss that, bud. Yeah, me too. And he kind of like his like robot hand kind of reaches out and he's like, "Tell you what, you've been one of the kindest people I've met on the road. So it was nice knowing you." And he like is holding his Securitron dangler out for you if you want to shake the Securitron's hand. Yeah, I'll shake. Yeah, he kind of like Wait, so he kind of like grab one of things. Dangler, um, shaking he, the dangler. Uh, okay. Yeah, they're kind of like dangly. I don't know. You know, they're kind of like noodly. Yeah, um, flipping around. Grab the noodly dangler. Yeah, grab that noodly <laughs> dangler and uh, shake his hand, and then he just like starts like wheeling off into the woods. Um, All right. Just I can't believe you <laughs> faced off Clark's only friend. Well, he's a real asshole, Clark. <laughs> a real rolling asshole. I, I'm so sorry, Clark. I'm sure you'll get to see him again, maybe. Well, I'm not sure. But I think you'll be able to see him again at some point. You know what? The important part is he's not going to be shot full of holes. Um, I'll be right back. And Hazel is going to see if she can find <coughs> Jack. Okay, yeah, you find Jacques. All right, is, let's is say it's Jacques. Around. Jacques, the, uh, the, uh, Jacques, the resistance. The resistance is, is, is he kind of, he, she, are they in sort of like standby mode or are they cackling maniacally or are they still looking for uh, a monarch to overthrow? They're like th- using their flamethrower to uh, ignite the fire even more, just kind of like, raising it some more just kind of like you know like you're tending a garden but it's fire okay so i'm actually gonna run up to Jacques and say uh Jacques, jock it's me it's it's hazel stop stop oh hazel i'm in by the revolution nice to see so, you hazel so I, have, I have excellent news i have excellent oh news. yes revolution has succeeded we have overthrown the tyrant in red and we now need to escape before we are enslaved by uh, the um, revenging army that is on its way. So the rebellion, good job. You did it. 100% success. We need to get out of here, and we would really like you to come with us. Because Hazel, you form a new government. You have freed me before, and now you tell me you killed the king? Well, he's definitely... I will do whatever you need. Okay, so... We have a single 
very large um, obstacle in our way, we would love your help to be able to topple this obstacle so that us and the rest of the proletariat can form up and escape. That sounds like a plan. I have an ingenious way of doing that in my head that I will show you. Uh, okay. It does not involve killing any of our people, right? Ah, uh, no, 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 no. I'm no, going no. for like a velvet bloodless revolution thing here, Jacques. I b- bloodless, yes, but the fire burns deep. Oh no! Uh, I love, kind I of love like I love the fire. I'm a big fan of the fire. Part of the reason it worked. Now we got to go though. So you you see that? So so you see those vehicles over there? We have a trolley. Then we have kind of like a steam engine looking thing that is not working. And then we have a platform. Um, We need everybody to pull together victory and push the train and tip it off the track to get it out of the way so that we can come together (coughs) and look at the platform and the trolley so that we can escape. This sounds like a plan to me. Good. Let's go. Um, so, Cap, you are in power armor. You're the only one that's qualified to do the main part of the pushing here, mm-hmm. uh, since you are now powered by a, a small nuclear reactor uh, with your with your power armor on. Um, what I'm going to have to have you do is originally this is a difficulty five roll um, uh, to, to push this train along. Um, you have everybody helping you, so that's taking one off that difficulty. You have signal helping you, it's taking one off that difficulty, and you managed to get Jock to help you. Uh, which is taking one off that difficulty. So what I'm going to have you do is a strength plus athletics for difficulty two to see if everyone can push this train over. Uh, okay. While you're rolling, I will tell you that Signal is pushing with all of his might. Uh, Jacques has actually used the flamethrower to melt the wheels to kind of make them uh, unstable underneath while um, everybody around is trying to push it all over. Oh, uh, um, also, Pep. Um, mm-hmm. it, well, GM, will you allow me to donate... Uh, Personal action points to the uh, pool. Yeah, sure. I'll let me do. I'll, I'll, I'll donate. I'm donating three action points. So go ahead and roll forty twenty. Mm-hmm. Okay. And can I do an assist by uh, specifically telling everybody? Like I can see the angles of attack. I can see the the wedges and the levies and the way to most effectively uh, push the train so that it is the least resistance to get it over. Like where if you want to add a success to Pep's score, you can roll a perception plus science for a difficulty three. Okay, I will try that. Mm-hmm. To try and add a success. Uh, can I, do, uh, remind me, luck points are spent after the fact, yes, or can I after. add? Okay. So I'm, if you spend the action points I put in the pool, you'll be able to roll 40, 20. <laughs> okay. No, I got nothing. Nothing for me. So, Pep, you can roll two more. Two more. So, roll those first. See what that happens. Okay, we sold nowhere. So, now you can use luck points, depending on how many, how many luck points you have. Because you got one str- success. Strength plus that. athletics, oh. one success. Well, he hasn't rolled. Okay. All, wait, did... I'd already rolled two. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah. So, then use your luck, see if you can get the second success. All right. Lose a little luck point. Whoops. Come on, no whammies. Yeah, nope. All right, so here's here's what Clark wants to do now that they've successfully failed. <laughs> Clark's going to kind of look at everybody, like, trying really hard on this, and he really took what Shorely said to heart. And as everybody's kind of pushing on it really hard, Clark is going to throw his hands back up and just lean against the side that they're pushing on. And oh, um, okay. could I m- maybe do a little fun luck roll if that's uh, that's something yeah, you I would feel say, in? I would say strength plus luck for difficulty two to see if you can add that final uh, that final success. That I can't do strength plus luck because that is too... Uh, okay, yeah, uh, then luck plus athletics for difficulty two. Sorry about that. Yeah, they don't have luck plus dumb luck. I do okay. have... Uh, three action points. So do it. 
<laughs> You're kind I'm of not- like falling into these situations. First with the trolley car, <laughs> now with this. <laughs> or not the trolley car, the vine cart. Oh yeah. my god. <laughs> I needed <laughs> I needed wow. seven. I needed seven <laughs> and I got god. four of them. Oh my god. god. <laughs> You are the wild card. Uh, I love it that no one will know. <laughs> Everyone is pushing on this thing. Like, like Jacques is like heating the underside of it. Everyone's trying their best. And when you lean back, it actually leans with you. And you kind of just like rest on it. And it kind of like almost acts as a little bed for you and gently falls back and lands <laughs> on the ground. Uh, and then you're just kind of like sprawled out. Um, with your hands behind your head, just chilling. See, you guys were trying too hard. <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. I do like in, re- in in the world of wrestling, we have now made Orange Cassidy, which yeah. is pretty funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> from that concept, uh, the uh, so you've moved the train out of the way. Um, the uh, minecart starts getting attached to the trolley, um, and everybody starts loading stuff onto the minecart. Um, everybody has finished loading stuff into the minecart, um, and uh, all of a sudden, overhead, you hear a whirling sound, um, yeah. and it gets closer and before long, um, all of a sudden, from the sky, a light shoots out. And um, gunfire rains down and kills two of the nutcracker settlers. Uh, you see above you is a vertebrate um, that is operating up there. Um, from the cockpit, you hear somebody yell, go for the one in the power armor. That's him. That checks out. Mm. <laughs> Remember he murdered those two people. How dare you? Or How one, dare one person. You? It's hard to remember. He's just he's just on a killing spree. I mean, technically, one of the people Pep has killed was himself. So, I mean, you can't really necessarily hold I haven't even done that. (laughs) Well, get to killing then. Uh, So, uh, are we... Are people loaded up on the train? Can we start the train going? Or are we still kind of like the chaos of just about to leave? You're just about to leave. um, And it's kind of in the chaos. And uh, Arthur turns to... uh, I imagine if anyone has been dragging their feet, <laughs> the <Now>. uh, <laughs> the strafing run probably I got the line. I might want to go back for my industrial strength hair driver. No, 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 we're good. There go. Never mind. Uh, Arthur runs up to Lonnie and it's like, "What? Do, what do we do, man? What do we? We're, we're ready to we go. Do we all get on the trolley? Signal. Drive. Uh, May or Lonnie? Drive." Uh, I I don't mean to to talk real in depth knowledge, but vertebrate very fast, trolley slow. A moving targets better than a sitting one. So, uh, uh, okay. Is the Christmas tree still on fire? The Christmas tree was Christmas never on tree fire. is not on fire. Oh, that's right. Just the the clogs kickers. Okay. Um, Question: How close to the ground is this vertebrate? Um, I mean, it is probably what, like a hundred feet in the air, circling around the encampment. Mm, okay, so that's not really in range. Is, mm-hmm. It is long range for all of you, um, and a moving target. I'd say that it's at that fourth range distance that we don't often talk about. That is a thing that exists within the game. Yeah, huh? I I got nothing that'll reach that. Does anybody have any kind of sniper rifle? Or explosives we could throw? 
Because oh. it's not. All we can do is get out of here and uh, let them chase us. If, they're go- if they specifically yell that they're targeting Pep, Pep is going to run away from the train, probably in such a way where he'd put the flames of Claude Kicker's Kickaporium or whatever it's called uh, between himself and where the vertebrate is flying. So are we standing okay. on the ground? Uh, he ran away. You guys um, and, and Pepple yell, get the train going. I'm going to uh, take off the hat, uh, toss it to Hazel, and I'm following Pep. Okay. Not Pat leaving him alone. And I start telling everybody to load up. Everybody load up. Um, uh, we need the, we need to connect the platform to the trolley uh, and get everything fired up. We're getting ready to go. So the, the platform, nut- the Nutcracker Raiders had guns, right? Yeah, but now they are so assimilated that like the Raiders and the Rising Sun Settlement people are all pretty much of, like amorphous together. So you, not you, you, not too worried about that. Just like, do any of them have a long range rifle? No, they all have pipe pistols. Pipe pistols. They need to Shit. flack the air. They 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 need um, flak. All right, so Pep, you've run over to the flames, uh, and you hear the cranking again. And a bullets rain down. Oh my god, a bullets rain down, uh, killing one of the nutcracker settlers. And a, a payload of bullets going directly into signal. Into where? Into what? Into signal. The signal. Oh. oh. Well, is he dead? He is like, he, I mean, you'd have to go over there and check. All right. Hazel is going to, that's what she- gonna do she's gonna book over there and try and do a medical check on signal like so as Arthur, that people to get on get to the train Forget Arthur the runs up to you before you get the signal and it's like uh should we should we like go ahead and go do we yes what do we yeah, yes warm everything up let's go hot exit go uh, all right and so Arthur uh gets onto the train and starts the engine starts up and the train starts slowly leaving uh hazel why don't you do a uh y- y- well you come over and you start looking at signal um mm-hmm. and you see that bullet holes are kind of like in his center torso um just mm-hmm. kind of like completely ripping through his flesh mm-hmm. um and, and signal kind of looks at you and says hazel yeah it's me are that you- really hurt I yeah, I can see that. Okay, stay with me, big guy. Um I uh, yeah, I got uh, three successes. Oh, I didn't ask you to roll anything. Oh, I yeah. Um Sorry, you I'm look at on the button there. <laughs> you look at you look at hey, you look at uh signals wounds um and they are intense. Um mm-hmm you will likely need to do an intelligence plus medicine for a difficulty four. Um, to, I, I got to it stop. when I rolled it. I got a three. Um, okay. So you got three successes mm-hmm. from that. Yeah. I got, um, I got a crit and a, uh, yeah. So yeah. I got successes. So you managed to patch him up long enough, but he is still, uh, still bleeding. Um, he is still, dying um essentially yeah. Um, yeah meanwhile what's the, the the three of you what are the three of you doing with this vertebrae so what the hit would be a difficulty for well here's the thing you've got a train load <coughs> of of people with guns yeah where's the glory in that though the glory <laughs> 
Would it be a, what is the difficulty to hit? Uh, oh, it'd be a difficulty four to hit. Difficulty four? I mean, I mean, just I was gonna, can I? I might as well take a shot. What's the worst that can happen? What are you taking a shot with? Just the revolver, you know. Okay, yeah. Try to. You, what are you trying to shoot? The rotor. Okay. All right. Difficulty four. Uh, perception plus small guns. See if you can hit the rotor. I'll use my last action point here. Oh, um, I gotta hit it correctly. <coughs> um. Guys, I am sorry to say that I only got three successes. Jeez. Um, your bullet manages to glance the rotor, but it kind of like it doesn't stop the vertebrate, but the vertebrate kind of stops spinning. And um, you hear um, you hear some yelling on the vertebrate, um, and then all of a sudden a um figure appears out the uh, out the side of the vertebrate um and jumps off of the vertebrate landing in full power armor um wielding uh, a laser rifle in one hand and a flaming shish kebab in the other um before you stands paladin buffon uh, as the vertebrate circles around 